Well, it seems that Helldivers 2 is prime for some major changes, updates, and an invasion. Now, if you've not been paying attention, maybe you took a break from the game, some pretty significant things have happened. The devs pushed out an update that I think points to some pretty big things coming. But the game itself also continues to have some strange developments inside of it. Ships are showing up. I think that's a clear sign of impending invasion. We've got walkers and gunships now showing up on automaton planets. The the blue lights and the blue beams that were flying bugs, well, all that's just normal now. Major orders are being failed. Supply lines are being requested by the community so we can see exactly how these planets are connected. And it feels like the game is on the precipice of a big shift and a big change. So I want to give a quick backstory. I want to firmly establish why we cannot trust the developers, we cannot trust the ministry, but I also want to look at what happened in the game recently. I don't see the point in going down into the specifics of like, each weapon buff and nerf plenty of people have done that already but in light of all of that is going on i want to tell you what i think is going to happen make some sort of predictions about what's going to take place what the devs seem to be preparing for so very quickly the backstory on this not long ago we were seeing these blue lights or blue beams in the game some of them were even attacking automatons and players we saw drop ships being taken out by these things players were even being killed by these blue beams now the devs and the ministry assured us that they weren't real they did the same thing with the flying bugs and the termicide now i tried to tell her buddy that the termicide was helping the bugs to evolve and we know they right now it's been basically confirmed by the ceo of arrowhead and the ministry that the termicide is why the terminids are now able to fly now why is this backstory so important well for a few reasons they are likely going to lie to us about what is happening and what is coming so in the words of fox Mulder, trust no one or at the very least don't trust the ministry and don't trust the developers well why well what's happening in the game is going to require hell divers to accurately report on it for starters with the ships that are now in the skybox. They're actually in the skybox of some of the planets. Well, we didn't hear this from the ministry or the developers. According to the gamer.com, Helldivers 2 players spot cloaked warships above automaton planets. Now, according to the gamer, those blue beams were likely coming from these ships. They say, Troops have been attacked by blue lasers while on missions to liberate enemy worlds, a signature weapon of the aquatic Illuminate alien species. Now, the gamer also seems to know where the Illuminate are located. They say, The Illuminate are located south of Super Earth, so if they join the fold, it would have been assumed they would push from the south filling out the empty space on the galactic map. Now, in light of this, the automatons may be gearing up for defense because there's these new walkers showing up as well as gunships on the planets. You may not have seen these, but there are clips floating around. As I said, we cannot rely on the ministry to keep us informed. These reports are coming from the field, from the front line, and there's this new thing called a factory strider according to pc gamer an early field report from reddit user capped pluto suggests the factory strider is essentially a mobile fortress for the automatons it packed large laser cannons mounted miniguns and a factory capable of spawning devastators on the move okay the automaton sorry i've been saying it wrong i do that all the time i can't be the only one that does that this to me signals war prep for the automatons okay I think they're gearing up to defend themselves. The fact that these ships showed up and now we have new automaton units, I think that has to be seen as not just a coincidence. At the very least, maybe they're increasing their defenses and they're not just worried about hell divers anymore. Now, according to the early field report, the worst part about these striders, these walkers, is that they don't have easy to find vents. And the walkers are not the only thing showing up and attacking players. More from PC Gamer. New gunships are attacking divers in swarms despite our assumptions that the cloaked ships in the skies of robot space were gunships the true culture the true culprits are smaller and they travel in packs not as much is known about these but they fire lasers and missiles now again this sounds like the automatons are increasing their defenses and their forces now all of this is just happening organically in the game. There were zero alerts from the ministry. There were zero alerts from the devs that this would happen. This is another reason to not trust them. They are not as informed as we are. But from the developer front, they did push out a patch. Now, I'm not going to go through, as I said, the tweaks, the buffs, and the nerfs. It was a pretty long list. 
the reason I don't really care to do that is it's always going to be a moving target. People are really upset that they mess with a certain gun and they're hoping that that thing can be walked back. Well, since that stuff's always changing, I would rather talk about like what's this actually leading to in the game because the most important thing to take note of, this happened in conjunction with all these other strange developments in the game, is that they raised the level cap from 50 to 150. Now, some have said this is simply just to give people a new number to chase. Others have said that democracy never sleeps, so they should just keep raising the number. And then, obviously, many are speculating that this means something big is coming to the game. So let me give you sort of my position on all of this, and then I'll give you my prediction on uh, what I think is coming. First, my position. To me, it's pretty obvious that the warships in the skybox are the Illuminate. This is similar to the flying bugs. There were early clues, the blue beams, the lasers shooting down from the sky. All of a sudden, they're taking out drop ships. And then the hell divers, you know, that were getting taken out. I think this is why the automatons have released gunships as well as walkers. What better way to defend your drop ships than to have basically defense units on the planets to stop this from happening or to maybe even take out the warships that are in the sky. So it's only a matter of time before what I think is going to be an invasion or some type of an attack that will start to begin. We know that the automatons were trying to free the cyborgs on Cyberstan recently. That's potentially because maybe they were sensing this incoming threat and they wanted the cyborgs to help them. Now since that effort failed, they have deployed these walkers and these gunships. Now I think the walkers and the gunships are signed that we will be getting new content and new major orders very soon. And I'm going to circle back to this when I make some predictions about new content because I've got some ideas of what they could be doing. But for now, this is, I think, going to be similar to the flying bugs and the termicide. There's going to be new content, new story, new major orders. All of that's likely on the way in relation to these new units showing up. Now, lastly, before I get to my predictions, let's just talk about the level cap. The question of, like, why put such a big jump in the level cap from 50 to 150 now i disagree that this is just like a hey chase the number you know this is just busy work for the grinders i do not think that is the case especially considering it was retroactive there's some hardcore players that have already jumped into the low 100s because they've just continued to play and they've amassed a lot of xp But I think it's clear sign that they will be adding new stratagems. There really isn't any other good reason to do this if you're going to add 100 extra levels. Okay, that flows right into my predictions. First, I think we may be looking at the beginning of endgame content coming to the game. With a level cap increase of 100 more levels and a larger enemy unit or larger enemy unit showing up, it's undeniable that the likelihood of a new faction is almost here. I think they're gearing up for something maybe more structured, maybe more endgame focus. And for a while, I've said they could easily add content that has more layers to it and more mechanics. The termicide missions that you're watching right here, it was maybe a small glimpse into what's possible. You've got this big, large area. You've got three objective points. Instead of just holding one position for a certain amount of time, there were this, you know, traversal aspect of you're going to all these different areas and you had to actively defend something rather than just trying to stay alive like the bugs could actually work against your progress rather than just kill you now i think the tension point of having hell divers manning a station putting in codes that would be perfect for raid like or dungeon like content especially if you have to keep putting in the codes i've even thought a really cool mechanic would be hey we have to protect this station and you got to vent you know the station or it's going to explode and kill everybody like a wiping mechanic so somebody's got to keep putting in codes to vent you know the heat or something like that but the thing about that is you would need to defend that position so you'd have somebody that would be having to put those codes in fairly regularly and not making mistakes to keep the team alive but then you'd also have to have teammates keeping that person alive so they could keep doing it you could also create encounters where you've got the walkers or these larger enemy units they could be taken down with deployable weapons or stratagems that maybe these deployable weapons and stratagems they only can be called down in that part of the map or only when you go on these particular 
aspirational or end game missions. The foundational parts of this game are perfect for adding layers of complexity and mechanics for end game content. And the more the enemies evolve or upgrade their forces, the more I feel that the end game or the aspirational content is likely on the way. Beyond just raising the difficulty, I think that's great. I know people have really liked that, but I'd like to see something that's a little bit more complex instead of just making like oh the spawn rate of the enemies is way up and it's just going to be insane and that you know you're, you're sort of getting overwhelmed i think the unknown aspect here is how this all plays out when there's just more than two factions in the game there's been debates about people who won't leave the creek right you creakers just don't care about the rest of the game well eventually you can't play there you got to find somewhere else to play right once you actually secure the planet but I also think once you suddenly have multiple factions instead of just two you know terminids and automatons uh, they have been keeping us pretty busy you know what happens when the illuminate show up and they start pushing from the south what if these cyborgs show up what if they get liberated and they start attacking from the north now obviously joel and the sort of the game master or the dungeon master team they can ensure that it doesn't overwhelm us to the point of futility right and then super earth's overrun and then nobody really wants to play a game where you just sort of feel like everybody you know everybody's failing they also have to consider how often they want us to fail major orders many hell divers cited the lack of supply line information with the most recent recent major order failure. Basically, if you don't understand how this works, a few major orders ago, I said this was a problem. People and players do not know how the planets are connected. I didn't know how the planets were connected until somebody told me. So you end up targeting the wrong planet thinking that, well, I've got a straight line from planet A to B to C when you actually don't always have that. Now, thankfully, the devs have said that the mock-up from a community member that added sort of like arrows to the map, they said it was very close to something they were already considering doing. Basically, arrows are lines making it very clear which planets are connected. So if you need to make a triangle to get to the target planet instead of a straight line you know and guessing and relying on third-party apps or websites or reddit that would be in the game so overall I i think big things are coming the level cap points to new stratagems the ships point to an invasion and a new faction and the new bigger and larger enemy units they point to new content and new major orders right now it's not really a matter of if these things happen it's just really a matter of when but that's just what i think what do you think